What's good YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your voice meter inside of your OBS. Super easy, not much to it. The first thing you want to do is watch the videos in the description if you don't know how to set up voice meter at all. But once you set up voice meter, you come into your OBS and right here you see if we go to advanced properties, once we add an actual audio device, you see we have voice meter VAIO virtual situation doing its thing. So as you can see, pulling up voice meter, that's where my microphone is going. But over here you see we have voice meter aux. So if I choose this right here, this is simply gonna let it come through from there. So I like it to be on B1 so it can come through this side over here, then over here can be my desktop audio. So it's all set up, all working perfect. This is how you get it situated. If you wanna add a noise gate, you don't even have to add a noise gate in OBS, you can add it right here. So I put 1.5 because my laptop is no joke and it be roaring and doing this thing. You can probably hear it behind my voice right now, but if I stop talking, you don't hear anything. It goes straight silent, and then once I start talking, it's working great. You can mess around with this if you want to to get it situated for you. And then the final little thing, the little chef's kiss touch is turning on mono if you have a stereo microphone. So if I'm talking more to the left, I'm gonna sound louder in someone's headphones on the left or same situation if I'm over towards the right. So I choose mono so it'll balance it out to make it even for both sides of the speaker or headphone situation for the person watching. Next up, you wanna make sure you're recording all this stuff the right way. So as you can see right here, if we go hit the settings cog right there, we can choose advanced audio properties. Right here inside of OBS, if you do not have this set up right, it's not gonna act right. So as you can see on track one is my voice meter, just track one, don't select nothing else. Track two is Elgato. So I chose Elgato, don't select nothing else. Whatever you want to be on a track by itself, you must put it on the track by itself. Track three is voice meter aux. So this is my desktop situation. So whenever I play something, a video or movie, it's gonna come through this right here. And then as you see, I don't have anything as far as, you know, nothing special going on on four, five, and six. And then once we come into the settings over here for output, you see right here recording I'm recording track one, two, and three, but I'm not recording track four, five, and six. This is gonna be how you get all your audio tracks on different things. So it works perfect. You can change the volume of different things while you're editing and get it all situated how you like it. As far as streaming is concerned, as you see right here, I am doing the audio track for four. And as we saw, I had everything selected on four. So everything that's coming through on four will be heard by my stream. But if I didn't want them to hear it, I could simply unselect it for four and they won't hear it. So if I don't want them to hear the desktop, I could just take it off. Or if you want to, obviously, yes, you can mute them down here so they can't hear it. You can just do whichever one you want. But if you never want them to hear a desktop, obviously you can just unselect whatever your desktop is going to. And that's how you get your voice meter set up inside of OBS. It's super easy, super quick. If you already have this set up, that is. But if you don't know anything about voice meter or how to set it up, I have two different videos down in the description. I have one that I'm talking super fast, super fast for the people who know what they're doing in certain software, just want a little walkthrough situation. And then I have one that's longer that you know, talking a little bit slower, but still getting the point across in a timely manner so it doesn't waste your time. If this video helped you out, please slam that like button is greatly appreciated helps these videos get put into the algorithm so the people who need them can find them and also don't forget that sharing is caring share these videos to people you know that's using voice meter or any other application i talk about because a lot of this stuff is very frustrating it's very irritating to not have it do exactly what you needed to do or wanted to do so help folks out if you find a video that helps you out i don't care if it's not mine if it's not mine and you find a video that helps you out share that too if you find one of mine that helps you out, share that. Share these videos that help people out, help you out because it could save someone a headache or a lot of time troubleshooting and fooling around with stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.